Hey, it's your coach Darren Letourneau here with a video on what equipment you need for the hammer and chisel program that's coming out December 1st, 2015. The new program with Segi, Kalev, Autumn, Calabrese have combined together to put this program together. You're going to get cardio in there, resistance training, probably some yoga and that as well. So it's a pretty good mix with the two trainers. It's going to be an awesome program. So what you need for this program, pretty much the same same equipment you probably need for Body Beast. So to start out you're gonna to want to have some dumbbells. The dumbbells that I have, I have the uh, hex dumbbells here. Mine are, go from 5 to 25 pounds and then on top of that I have these other dumbbells you can see here. These are the ones with the spin locks on them. So I have those ones. These are some older ones that I used to have that I used. So what you want to have for dumbbells, what, what I'd recommend is you can get the hex ones, you're going to have a lot of dumbbells laying around. So some of my friends, they go and they have those um, Bowflex dumbbells. Those are the ones that are adjustable, they change up. So it all depends how much you want to spend. You can go spend a couple hundred dollars on that, or you can go and just buy them a little bit at a time as you work your way up in weights. And spend a little bit on that or you can go with the spin lock ones that I have there those are probably about $15 for the actual dumbbell so you need two of those those would be 30 plus you got to buy the weights for them and then you can just buy the extra weights and just switch them out as you need them I have a couple sets because some of the body beast was uh, back to back so I didn't want to have to keep switching the weights so that's one of the things with the um, the Bowflex ones, you can just switch them pretty quickly, but they do get kind of a little bit big when you're trying to do some of the uh, smaller exercises with the smaller weights. So with those dumbbells, it's all it's all up to you what option you want to do. You can also go on like Kijiji or Craigslist or stuff like that. People are always selling these dumbbells, any kind of dumbbells, like you can go get them pretty cheap. People are trying to get rid of them. So. Also, you're going to want a weight bench. I got this old trusty weight bench here. It's probably from the 70s, but it works, so I use it. Instead of going out and buying one for like 200 bucks, you might you might even find one on Kijiji or Craigslist as well for something like that. If you don't have one of those, you can also use one of these stability balls here. It's going to be a little bit harder when you're doing some of the like bench presses and stuff like that with the stability ball. It's going to be a little bit... Uh, tougher on you. You're going to use less weight when you're using when you're doing it, but you're going to work out a lot more of your core. So it all depends what you want to do if you want to go that route. As for, you're also going to want a pull-up bar. If you don't have a pull-up bar, me, I'm using the beam up there. That's what I use because I don't have anywhere down here to hang a pull-up bar, and my ceiling is not high enough. For me to hang one on the wall because I'm still going to be hanging so I just use that. You can also use these resistance bands. They have these. You can just hook them onto something and lay down on the ground and follow along with what the people in the video are doing with these. This red one you're going to need. A red one is for, they're using it for the warm up on the one exercise but if you don't have one you can use a towel for that. But during the workout, you're either going to want the pull-up bar or you're going to want um, maybe even a heavier one than the red one, depending on how strong you are and what you're doing with it. And also, when you're doing the workouts, especially if you're doing them in a basement, you're going to want to have um, some flooring. You don't want to be doing it on the concrete floor. So what I have is these here. You can buy these at Walmart. I bought these at Walmart. I have like two sets of them and they're good for jumping around on. They're cushiony and you don't hurt yourself even when you're, uh, if you're throwing dumbbells on them, they might start to, you might get kinds of holes in them and stuff like that. So they're more for just like, you know, cushion on your joints and that when you're doing the workout. You also may want to get like a yoga mat for if there's a yoga part of the program to use that for. And besides that, the other thing you're going to need, either putting the workout on your tablet or your computer, or like me, I go old school, I got the TV with the VCR, and that's how I play my workouts. So.
That's to answer your question, what equipment you need for the hammer and chisel program. Hopefully that helps you out, guys. If you want to join our test group for the hammer and chisel, I'll put the link below. Have a great day, guys.